Hi Year 12, this short video is going to explain what we're going to be doing this week in regards to Hub and your Chromebooks and launching this with all of Year 12. So we're going to put things into three phases to get everybody set up. Phase one is going to start today and phase one is going to involve you logging into Hub for the first time. Now your form tutors will have your Hub username and passwords. They're going to issue these to you and then you're going to be able to go onto the Hub website and log in for the first time. Important that you obviously keep your username and password safe, particularly your username as you're going to be changing your password as part of phase one straight away so that you turn it into something memorable. The rationale for doing this is that um, Hub is set up really as a kind of cross Wales um, uh, format that, that lots of schools that can use. Uh, primary schools have been using Hub for some time now and secondary schools have started to transition across to it. You might know friends in other schools that already use Hub um, for their school email and their school one drives etc um, and we're kind of catching up with that and doing that now as well it'll mean that you still have access to the full office 365 um, package plus some other resources um, and there's lots of resources for your subjects that are put on there as well by other teachers across wales and by kind of consortiums exam boards etc that you're going to be able to access so the rationale is is that basically everybody can access this across wales and we have one database in common uh, what I would encourage you to do when you're all set up is actually just to explore the platform a little bit. Um, there is the Office 365 package on there. There's also features such as news on there, the resources. So maybe you want to have a little look around when you're registered with Hub. Now, phase two is going to involve transferring of our files. So we're going to do a transition period from the RADAR accounts across to Hub. But at some point, the RADAR RADAR accounts are not going to be used anymore because we're not going to have offline capacity and everything's going to be done online. So that's why really early on we want to transfer our files across and your form tutors are going to have a guide that they're going to use with you so that you can transfer your files across to your new hub account online. Now we're going to talk you through how to do this with your OneDrive files. I know lots of you are up and running with OneDrive and use them for a lot of your subjects and obviously you still want to be able to access and use these. Um, but also we're going to show you how to do it with offline files. So how you can get them off your um, RADAR offline account where you save them on your drive when you log into a desktop computer. And maybe also if you want to upload them from USBs or your own personal devices and you can do that as well. Once we move to the Chromebooks, they are going to be exclusively online and the desktop computers are not going to be around any, anymore. So you're not going to have that opportunity to log in and access those offline files. So it's really important that you do this file transfer. It's also really important that you back up your files. So once you um, download them for OneDrive before you upload them again to the new OneDrive, there will be an offline version of them. Now, we can't keep those on the school server because that's going to be lost at some point and also it's going to really clog up the memory in the short term. But if you wanted to save an offline version of them, then obviously you could use something like a USB or transfer them to a device of your own. After we've handled the files, then phase three is going to involve email forwarding. So again, as part of the transition process, we don't want you to miss any um, emails that's coming through to your RADAR account, but we also don't want you going between the two accounts because that's going to get confusing and a bit time consuming for you. We want you to embrace the new Hub account. So what we can do is set up this email forwarding tool that will forward any emails that arrive your RADAR account across your Hub account. So all of them will just be duplicated. It's all explained in the guidance you're going to be doing this week, um, but that will obviously affect any new emails coming through from the point in which you set up that forwarding tool. Any historic emails though won't be included in that. So if you want to save any historic emails, any things that you know your teachers have sent to you that you want to keep or opportunities from outside the school, etc. If you know that there's you know a manageable small amount that you can transfer across, then I would just select those and then just forward them to your new hub email. So as if you send an email to yourself. If, however, there's lots that you would like to transfer or you'd even like to transfer your entire inbox across, there is a way to do that. I'm not going to cover that in um, the guidance because I don't think more students will want to do that. But if you do, there is a way to do it. So speak to your form tutor because they'll be able to issue with you with the staff guidance because a lot of staff have had to do that because obviously we have a lot of important emails we need to keep.
Again, with this, the same as the files, I would encourage you to save a backup of your inbox, though, just in case there is something later that you realise is quite important in there. You can leave all of your emails on your RADA email account so that you can still, in the short term, access that. But there is also a way that you can download them all off there and keep an offline copy if there's anything you're worried about losing as well. So once we've done phases one to three, that's everything to do with the setup and the use of Hub. And at that point, then we'll be ready to receive your Chromebooks. So today you're going to be issued with personalized contracts. And these are user agreements between you, your parents and the school um, on, uh, on a contract, basically, and conditions of you using these Chromebooks and taking them home and using them however you want to um, until your time at RADA ends. So you'll be issued with these today and then basically in a few days time you'll be allocated a particular time during form periods in which you need to go down to IT support behind the canteen and exchange then your signed user agreements, your signed contracts for a Chromebook. If you don't get the contract signed and you can't produce that then you just don't get a Chromebook, it's as simple as that. Um, remember that obviously this is going to be the transition to online working, so that's why we need to do everything else beforehand, because you will not be able to log into them without your hub details. Um, when you are handed your Chromebook, it'll be handed to you in a box, obviously with a charger as well. You need to keep that box safe because the box needs to be handed back in with the Chromebook when you return it at the end of six forms. So it's really important you keep that safe. And in the meantime, though, you're obviously not going to be using your box to bring it into school every day. So you need to make sure that you've got appropriate storage for that to bring it into school and to um, and to use it at home as well. That hasn't necessarily got to be a proper laptop bag, but obviously just make sure that your own bag, your school bag is suitable for transporting that back and forth and that it's going to be safe and not likely to be damaged as well. So with the form groups, on Wednesday, so we're giving you a minimum of a two day turnaround to get those contracts signed. On Wednesday, Austin and Curie are going to go and exchange those. Um, on Thursday, it's going to be Freud and Gilbert. And on Friday, it's going to be Holmes, Pascal and Thomas. So you just come in on that day with your contract signed. You go straight, you get your mark at the beginning of registration. And then you go straight down then to IT support and you exchange your user agreement for that laptop that will have a particular ser uh, serial number on it that will be assigned to your name. So they'll know exactly who's got what serial number um, Chromebook. Once you've got your Chromebook, then you just return back to your form room. Now, when you're signing these user agreements and your parents or guardians are signing these user agreements as well, part of what you're signing is an acceptable use policy. And that just means that you're using the devices in a responsible and appropriate way. Please pay special attention to some of the key parts about personal information, so sharing your own and personal information of others as well. Also, um, these devices need to be used responsibly in how you communicate with others respectively and politely. Um, sharing of images um, should be done very cautiously or just not at all. So there shouldn't be any inappropriate sharing of images of yourself or other people as that would be breaching the contract. There obviously shouldn't be any discriminatory behaviour. So any cases of online harassment, bullying, discriminatory behaviour or promotion of discrimination against certain groups of people, these will all not be permitted on these devices. And obviously as well, any illegal conduct will not be acceptable and you'll have the Chromebook removed for you. So so please pay special attention to these. These, this is what you're signing when you sign the contract. Okay, so that's it. That's this week. We need to get all launched up, all set up on Hub, and then obviously the Chromebooks all issued. Um, your teachers are going to be working through guidelines with you to lead you through each part of the process. We're going to have a particular thing to do each day. If there's anything IT related in terms of queries, then please go straight to IT support behind the canteen. If there's anything else you think I might be able to answer and you've got any queries, then come and speak to me, okay, or your form tutors. And apart from that, good luck getting everything set up this week. Take care, everybody.